Hello, and welcome to SouthPAC. Today we are taking a look at the Pelican 1610 protector case. Due to its size and ruggedness, the 1610 case is extremely popular for airline travel and UPS FedEx shipping. This slide shows an overview of the main features of this case. Features such as double action latches, pressure valve, O-ring, steel pin hinges, retractable handle, air and water tight performance, and a lifetime warranty are included in all rolling cases in the Pelican Protector family. In particular, the 1610 case features four latches, two wide wheels, and three fold-down lifting handles. In this video, we will be talking a lot more about these case features and also about the internal case dimensions. The internal dimensions listed are taken at the lid split, which we will see later is not the last word on actual usable space. Also listed here is the external dimensions and the weight of 20.1 pounds. The reason we have listed total dimensions is that this is pertinent for airline check-through rules. This case is well under 63 inches, which allows it to meet the check-through requirements of most major airlines without extra fees. Let's take a closer look at the external features. This slide shows the front of the case and several external features. This case has two locking loops, one at the top is labeled and one at the bottom. These are covered in metal sleeves that provide extra security. It is a little cumbersome to use two locks, but using one could allow someone to pry up the opposite corner and gain access to the case. There are two of the double throw latches on the front of the case and one of the fold down lifting handles. The fold down handles are molded plastic with a rubberized grip on them. This handle is oversized and centered and provides a comfortable carrying point. Also shown here is the nameplate provision. This is an optional item from Pelican, but you can also use your own sticker or plate here. Lastly, the automatic pressure relief valve is also on the front of the case. Since this case is airtight, this feature is needed to equalize the pressure inside the case when flying or otherwise changing altitude. If this were not present, you would pretty much need a crowbar to get the case open at your destination. This is a picture of the back or hinge side of the case. The two hinge assemblies are shown here. The hinge assembly is molded in plastic with protective ridges surrounding a metal pin. In older versions of this case, the metal pin was easily replaceable in the field. On this version, it is still replaceable, but requires some drilling of the plastic at the ends. If this were to break, your best bet would be to use Pelican's warranty for a new case. Lastly, this slide also shows some of the texture of the plastic skin. The texture provides a decent scratch-resistant outer surface, which keeps the case looking good longer. This shows a close-up of the wheel end of the case. There are two latches and one fold-down lifting handle on this end. The wheel design on this case is much improved from earlier versions. The most likely thing to break on any rolling shipping case is the wheels. Pelican has not only better protected the wheels by putting them in protective housing, they have also increased the width of them to make the case roll easier and last longer by having better weight distribution. The top of the case shown here has a few features worth noting. Pelican adheres a product and logo sticker in a recessed well. This is removable by the purchaser and provides a good spot for private branding or your own identification label. The plastic ribbing shown at the top and bottom add structure to the lid and also serve as part of the stacking provision. This slide shows the bottom of the case. The handle assembly is easily replaceable if it gets broken. The shape of the handle assembly allows it to fit into the top of another case for secure stacking. The handle itself has a two position lock, either all the way up or all the way down. As an added bonus, the handle can be unlocked and lifted up with one hand. It is time to start talking about the case interior and dimensions. This picture shows a top view of the case base. As you can see, there are protrusions on the left from the inset wheel cartridges and a protrusion on the right for the retractable handle. Also shown are raised nubs inside the bottom of the case for the pull handle assembly screws on the back. Let's take a look at some dimensions. Here we have a CAD rendering of the case base interior. The dimensions at the top of the case, as shown earlier, are 22.33 by 17.24 inches. The same dimensions at the bottom of the case are 21.78 by 16.69 inches. The reason the case is smaller at the bottom is due to what we call the case draft. The case base is molded in one piece and it has to be narrower at the bottom so that the part will release from the mold. In this instance, the case draft subtracts around half inch 
from the usable length and width at the bottom. In addition to the case draft, the wheel and handle protrusions also decrease usable space at the bottom, and this may come into play if you are packing out big, long, or several odd items. This slide shows a bisected view of the case with the lid on it. The 10.6 inch stated case depth is made up of a base depth of 8.55 inches and a lid depth of 2.04 inches. As you can see, the overall usable depth is less than the 10.6 inches in several areas of the case due to protrusions. The dimensions of the wheel wells and handle well protrusions are shown, as well as the eighth inch height of the bottom nubs we discussed earlier. At the top of the case, we are showing the protrusions from six more plastic nubs, called risers, that are left over from the molding process of the lid. The good news on these is that they can be easily removed with a putty knife and hammer without damaging the lid. Thank you for your time today. I hope this was an informative video. If you'd like to get a copy of these slides, please contact us and we will be happy to provide them to you. Also let us know if you have any other questions or if you would like to purchase a case or discuss a custom interior. Thanks again.